let's take a look at compositing and alpha channels. When you create an image on a computer, you may want part of the image completely opaque, while other parts may have varying degrees of transparency. This allows you to put one image atop another. That transparency is called an alpha channel. Think of it as a built-in mask. Some of the images in the program packs were created with alpha channels, so you can overlay them on backgrounds of your choice. Start by saving your previous work by pressing Ctrl-S. Give it a name that you can remember and find a good directory for it. I'm calling mine Tutorial 01. Blender will automatically add the .blend file extension. This time, instead of adding an image sequence, we'll start by adding a single frame. Set the current frame to 1351. With your mouse pointer over the video sequence editor, press Shift-A to add an image. From the Background Plates directory, select one of the backgrounds. I'm going to use the June Sky image. By default, it will load the file and set its duration to 26 frames. Press N to open the Properties tab. If you haven't already, right-click on that short image strip. In the Properties tab, find the Length box and change that value to 600. That single frame will now last 600 frames, or 20 seconds. Now we're going to overlay an animated sequence over it. Make sure the current frame is set to 1351. With your mouse pointer over the Video Sequence Editor, press Shift-A to add another image strip. For this exercise, go into the Asteroids directory, then the Oumuamua subdirectory. All the files in this directory have the .png extension. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. It's one of the image formats that include alpha channels. TIFF and TGA files may also have alpha channels. Select all the files by pressing A. Press Enter to open the files into the timeline. It will look a bit odd because you'll see the asteroid on a checkerboard background. In order to use the alpha channel here, you'll need to tell Blender to do so. In the Properties tab, look below the File Name tab under Edit Strip. There's a selection box that reads Blend. By default, this will be set to Cross. If you click on it, you'll see a selection of Blend Modes. To use the image as an overlay with an alpha channel, select Alpha Over. Now the image is over the background. Remember that if you wish to crossfade this with another image strip, you'll have to fade both of these image strips. It's usually easier to put the other strip above them in the video sequence editor and change its opacity. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at fading in and fading out at the beginning and end of our program.